Peter C Securities. Let's have a look at some of the latest development of Sri Lankan economy and financial markets. The Kalam Kunsi Price Index decreased to 6.3% in July from 12% in June 2023. The food category nearly after four years recorded a deflation of 1.4% in July. The year-on-year -year core inflation, which represents the underlying inflation in the economy, witnessed a decline falling to 6.1% from its June level of 9.8%. According to CBSL projections, inflation is anticipated to continue moderating and reach the targeted level in the medium term. This disinflation process is backed by the delayed effect of stringent monetary and fiscal policies, enhancements in the supply side, a decrease in the energy and food inflation, and the favorable impact of the base effect. As per a government statement, over 94% of the remaining holders of the dollar-denominated Sri Lanka development bonds have opted to exchange them for longer-term rupee bonds. The Finance Minister reported that out of the total $837.5 million worth of remaining SLDBs, owners of $791.4 million worth of bonds have been offered to exchange. Workers' remittances in the first half of 2023 have increased by 75.3% to $2.8 billion. According to provisional data, the total number of departures for the foreign employment during January to June 2023 amounted to 146,437, with 24,087 departures recorded in June 2023 alone. These departure figures for the first half of 2023 were relatively consistent with those of 2022, when the annual departures were approximately 311,056. In 2023, Sri Lanka experienced a surge in tourist arrivals, reaching the highest number of monthly arrivals for the year in July. According to Sri Lanka Tourism Development Authority, comparatively in 2022, Sri Lanka attracted 47,293 arrivals in July. Moreover, as of mid-July 2023, Sri Lanka has already surpassed the total number of tourist arrivals recorded in the entire year of 2022, which stood at 719,978. The country has now attracted 767,913 arrivals, indicating a significant boost in tourism during the current year. Fitch Ratings has downgraded the United States of America credit rating from AAA to AA+, due to the country's current financial situation and escalating debt burden. Fitch Rating attributed the downgrade to the anticipated fiscal decline over the next three years, the rising general government debt and the decrease in the financial control reflecting the continuous decline in the country's economic governance over the past two decades. Moreover, the decision regarding maximum credit limits in the United States has been significantly influenced by the economic instability, leading to a state of uncertainty. With all 180 billion offered bills being sold, the 91-day Treasury bill rate decreased by 6 basis points. The 182-day and 1-year Treasury bill rates decreased by 12 basis points and 13 basis points, respectively. The Colombo stock market gathered further momentum for the week with local and foreign investor interest in banking and finance stocks, resulting further boost in indices and turnover. On Thursday, there was a notable surge in foreign investor confidence in market, leading to a substantial net investment of 1.51 billion rupees. This marked the highest net foreign investment recorded in the year 2023 so far. Let's take a look at this week's Colombo stock exchange market status. Thank you for watching, see you next week.